Welcome back to Jekyll Sims. So today we will discuss the self-practice 1.1c. Okay, let's see question one. The quadratic functions below pass through the points stated and calculate the value of c. So we want to find the value of c for each case. So for the first one, question a, this is the function. We have fx and then we have x squared plus 7x plus c. And then we don't know the value of C. So we want to find the value of C. And the question says that this graph passes through this point. The point is 0 and 5. So 0 is x and 5 is your y. So 5 is your fx. So let's see the question A. fx equal to x squared plus 7x plus C. Okay, so you can substitute your fx with 5. And then you can substitute your x with 0. Okay, so 5 equal to 0 squared plus 7 z times 0 plus c. So 0 squared is a 0 plus 7 times 0 is also 0. So nothing is c. So 5 is equal to c. So your c is a 5. Okay, let's do the same thing for question B. fx equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus c. So we have a coordinate x and fx. Okay, so your x is 2 and your fx is minus 3. So you can substitute fx with minus 3 and then your x with 2. Okay, so minus 3 equal to 2 times 2, times 2 is 8, minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus C. So 8 minus 8 is 0, so 0 is negative, uh, 0 plus C is C, and then equal to negative 3, so your C is negative 3. So we do the same thing for question C. Uh, the function is fx equal to minus 2x squared plus x plus c. And instead of given a coordinate, it does not give a coordinate. It gives a y-intercept equals to 4. Actually, this means that when x is 0, y is 4. Okay, this is your y-axis. This is x is the x-axis. So your y-intercept is 4, right? Your y-intercept is 4. This means that your, your x is 0. So the coordinate is 0, 4 at this point, at this y-intercept. So we do the same thing. 0 is x, fx is 4. So fx is 4, your x is 0. So 4 equal to negative 2, 0 square plus 0 plus c. This is a substitution. You need to show this step. Okay, and then 4 equal to 0 plus C. So C equal to 4. Okay, so more, let's see the question 2. The diagram on the right shows two graphs of quadratic functions. So we have two graphs, fx and also gx. And then drawn on the same axis, state the range of value of P and explain your answer. Okay, so two part questions. So we first find the range first. So before that, we need to compare the two functions. So the first function is gx equal negative 4x squared plus 3. And then fx equal to negative bx squared plus c. Okay, so after comparing, we can notice that the only difference is this number. Okay. So the only difference is a, right? So for gx, the value of a is negative 4. The, for fx, the value of a is negative b. And then we can compare this graph also. OK, so gx is a narrow one, right, at the middle, OK? So this is gx. And then we have another fx.
f x okay and then so f x is wider and then g x is narrower and then what are the similarities the similarities are they are both shaped like this right if they are both shaped like this that means that the a must be uh, less than zero a must be a negative number right okay so a for gx is confirmed the value of a is negative 4 so it's a, already a negative number so for uh, for fx this is not yet confirmed so we need to set a range for b to make it to make the a less than zero a must be less than zero so my a now is negative p so my p must be greater than zero so p must be a positive number so i can keep this uh, negative okay so if p is a negative number for example negative one negative times negative you get a positive number so your a will become positive so i don't want that to happen so i need to make sure p is greater than zero so this one p is greater than zero because i want my graph to have this shape right so i need to keep my a less than zero so how to keep my a less than zero i need to make my p greater than zero okay so this is the first clue okay first range we have another range we need to see this uh, wide and narrower things okay so p has a relationship with four is it less than four or is it more than four so we need to see this we see fx is wider right so fx is wider so that means that p is less than four so why is that i will explain it so p is less than four so p can be negative three p can be negative two p can be negative oh sorry p uh i mean a a can be negative two a can be negative three a can be negative two a can be negative one which means that p is three two one because p right p is here so my a is this thing okay this is my a and this p is only this small p okay so negative p is a okay so negative three is this one negative three okay so why why my a should 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 have a less should be should have a higher number than negative four you see negative three is bigger than negative four right this one is a bigger number negative two also a bigger number than negative four this one also a bigger number than negative four so why we need to have bigger number so let's see this graph okay so i compare this point um, fx has a larger y than than gx right okay this is a value of y for this y is larger than this y if you look at the y axis here right so this y has a larger number than this y okay so y means uh, the function right so fx let's see fx so this one is for the fx equal to negative px squared plus 3 okay so my this number should be big so so when i times this number plus this number my y value will be big so that it will has a higher value than this number okay in other words this is my small y right smaller y so smaller y is for this function right gx gx is negative 4 x squared plus 3 so this one should be a smaller number 
compared to this A, compared to this A, so that it is a small number when it's time this number, time this number, it is small. So this one is smaller. So this value of Y is smaller, so it locate lower. So it will become a narrow graph. Okay, so for a wider graph, my A should be uh, bigger. Okay, so Fx is wider. This is the reason. Okay, so I make my P less than 4. So that I want to make my A, I want to make my A bigger. Okay, so and then this is the first range P greater than 0. This is the second range P less than 4. So I can combine those two. P greater than 0, right? P greater than 0. Okay, P greater than 0 and then P less than 4. So this is my final answer, which is the range of the value of P. And then the reason is. Uh, what I explained earlier, why it greater than 0 is because of this shape and then why it uh, smaller than 4 because my fx graph is wider. Okay, so let's see question 3. Uh, the diagram on the right shows the graph of a quadratic function fx equal to kx squared plus 6x plus h. So we have two unknown here. We have a K and a H, which is a number, right? And then we have uh, point A is 314 is the maximum point of the graph of the quadratic function. So we have this point is the maximum point. Okay, so let's see the question A. Given K is an integer where negative 2, uh, where K is in between negative 2 and 2 state the value of k. So k is an integer uh, in bit, uh, which satisfy this inequalities, right? So k can be, I list out the can be numbers, can be integers. Okay, so k can be negative 1, or it can be 0, or it can be 1. Okay. Now, let's see the uh, what is the value of k in this equation. The k is actually a, right? So uh, compared to the general equation, ax squared plus bx plus c. So my k is actually the a. So remember, when a is greater than 0, it's a shape like this. a is smaller than 0, it's a shape like this. So this shape is like this. So a must be greater than 0, which means that k must be greater than 0. So this three number, only negative 1 is less than 0. OK, so you can write here, since the shape is like this, uh, so my a must be less than 0, which means my, which mean my k less than 0. So my k is negative 1 because only this is the integer which is uh, less than neg uh, which is less than 0 which is a negative number so i already state my value of k so we can move on to question b using the value of k from a calculate the value of h okay so h is here right is uh, in the graph h is the y in the set which means it touch the y y axis all right so uh, we can rewrite the equation fx equal to uh, kx square. My k, I have the number already. k is negative 1, so I can replace it. Negative 1, I can skip the 1. Okay, so negative 1x square plus 6x plus h. Okay. So now I want to find h, right? So what I don't know is value of x here and then value of fx here. But I know that this point, okay, when x is 3, my fx will be 14. So I can replace here, my x is 3, my fx will be 14. So I just make the substitution here. So 14 equal to negative 3 square uh, plus 6. 
Okay, so 14 equal to 3 times 3 is a 9. Okay, so negative 9. And then plus 6 times 3 is 18 plus H. Okay, negative 9 plus 18 is 9. 14. And then H is 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. So your H is 5. Okay, so let's see the question C. Uh, state the equation of quadratic function form when the graph is reflected in the x-axis. So when this will become the mirror, okay, it will be reflected on this axis. Yeah. So give your answer in the form of f(x) equal to x squared plus b x plus c. Okay. So that's the general form we need to do. Okay. We can simply uh, draw it. when it reflected what will happen so my this point will become here right so this point will be here my x is still 3 but my y will be negative 14 it changes sign okay because from positive it goes to negative but my x didn't go to negative here my x is still here so my x I keep positive 3 Okay, and then I have a graph towards upwards. Okay, here also go upwards. And then this point will be negative, negative H. Okay, from H it will become negative H. So now I need to find the equation. Now I know uh, H, I, find, I, find, I have found it in question B that is value is 5 so this is actually negative 5 okay so fx equal to uh, ax square plus bx Okay, so for the mirror one, fx is negative x squared plus 6x uh, plus 5. So now, the, it is of the same shape, right? So, uh, it becomes x squared plus 6x minus 5. So you need to change the sign okay you can substitute uh, substitute all this value to see the uh, see the to check it okay so that's the 1.1 C